Hello and welcome to my channel. Now I am in the Music City and it's been a year since I've been to Liverpool. We've got the live building there behind me. And uh, it's home of, of course, the Beatles and Cilla Black and David Harry. And last year I came here to talk to David Harry and I've done the same again. It's part of my uh, Q&A um, series, so I hope you are enjoying the Q&A series uh, where I'm going out meeting fellow YouTubers. So I think I've spotted David Harry over here. We're gonna go for a bit of a walk and a talk. Uh, so in this vlog, we're gonna talk about the GoPro Hero 8, of course. Still got some issues and things to talk about that and the anticipation of the GoPro Hero 9. So I was absolutely correct. It was David that I spotted and we are here again, David, after a year and we're gonna talk about the GoPro Hero 8 and the anticipation of the 9. Yeah, but before we do that, Robert, how weird is it that I just randomly bumped into you it is, down at the pier? It, it is <laughs> random, a year later, yeah. So the GoPro Hero 8, last year I just bought it and uh, we had to wait for the media mod. <laughs> wait. The, 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 yeah, I, to, I was really disappointed they didn't bring that out straight away. Yep. I had to wait for that and eventually it did come out. We really anticipated this fantastic media mod to go around the GoPro Hero 8. Yep. Eventually it came yep. and... Uh, well, <laughs> you literally, literally pulled it to bits. Oh yeah, with a hammer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, with a, yeah, with a screwdriver and a blade. Yeah. Your, yeah. your media mod, as I'll, I'll show you later on. Yeah, it's a bit mangled. It's, it's not, it's not the one that they sell. <laughs> no, not it's at a lot all. better. Yeah, well, it is better now. Yeah. Now the worst thing about the media mods. Um, I could understand GoPro's approach to it. This is me trying to be level now. <laughs> I can understand GoPro's approach to it because obviously they'd taken so much out of the eight that they had to find a way of putting it back on. Am I about to slag it off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well basically GoPro just wanted a way to screw people into spending more money. So what they'd done, they effectively took two elements that were already in the camera and then threw it out there into the wide open world, which had to be addressed with a media mod. Yeah. But for vlogging, we all expected the media mod to have the shotgun microphone that GoPro said was going to be right. on Right, and we are actually using the GoPro Hero 8 today, by the way. Yep. I haven't got the massive G9 set up uh, because I've come full circle and, uh, and I'm really anticipating the uh, display mod. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anticipation is the right word with yeah, that one. Yeah, let's just have a look over here. So I have owned, and you have as well, David, the uh, media mod for a year now. Yeah. And uh, have your feelings changed towards it? Have you, uh, you know, is there anything you take back from what you said before? Absolutely you know, nothing. No, it's, so you, it is still as bad. You still feel it's overpriced? Way overpriced. Overhyped? Overhyped. And not really what they said it was? Not at all. Well, no. the thing is, they obviously lied about the microphone for the start. Yeah. And I will say it was a lie. Yeah. Because for a company like GoPro, right, who know exactly what they're doing, the people who engineered it knew that that wasn't a shotgun microphone. Yeah. Yet they said it was. Also as well, what I don't get is why on earth GoPro started taking useful functions out of the heroes. So say like built-in HDMI and also built-in microphone input. Yeah. Because don't forget the three and the four, they had built-in mic inputs just yes. through a very simple connector. And then once they got to the five, they took that out. Then eventually through the five, six, and seven onto the eight, they then get rid of the removable front piece of glass yeah. and then also get short of uh, the HDMI outputs as well. It's almost the perfect vlogging package, but the display mod, what, what's going on? I think, well, I personally think GoPro have got problems. Uh, they, I mean, they have got problems financially but I think they've got problems manufacturing, which is obviously evident because of the, the display mod. I mean, I did a video about that recently, questioning it. And so, yeah. yeah, but some people were going on saying, well, you know, due to whatever's going on at the moment, you know, COVID and all that. I was like, hold on, did that stop Apple and, and Google from releasing their latest phones? No. Did it stop like anybody else from getting their stuff out when they said they were going to? No. So GoPro can't use this as an excuse. And you've got to remember, the display mod was meant to have come out before the planet went on lockdown. So That's right, yeah. long before. Yeah, yeah. Before the GoPro Hero 8 was released, as yeah. on the build-up to it, yeah. they didn't say we're going to release the GoPro Hero 8 and then we might eventually... And then trickle out. ...eventually do the, <laughs> the media mod. And then we might eventually... Yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do a light and do if, you, a, if you're lucky you'll have something you can see yeah they didn't yeah. say that no it's nothing to do with the covid 19. no no that might have been convenient for them so the weather is changing all the time here we had a nice sit down in the sunshine Drastic changes. and now it's cooled down 
I'm not going to bang on about this little bit of uh, condensation that was just spotted on the lens Ooh, of the GoPro Hero You've 8. got this as well, Robert. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to mention that. Yeah. What do you think the uh, body's going to be like of the GoPro Hero 9? I think the 9, or whatever the next one's called, is going to be identical to the 8. Absolutely identical on the outside, physically. Right. Right. And the reason for that is, is because GoPro with the 8 have introduced this whole mod system. They're not going to just after one year of doing that suddenly change the whole thing. Now, you can phone me up after the, after the next one's released and yeah. it, if I'm totally wrong, yeah, phone me up and tell me, Robert, but I doubt very much. I will do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've opened myself up here, haven't I? No, actually, no, I'm going to put myself on the line. It is not going to change. What I think is going to happen, I well, I'm hoping we're going to get a bigger screen on the back to fill the back, because don't forget, there's a ton of space. Oh, yes, I've heard seamless, yeah. yeah. So I think we're going, to get a, yeah, we're going to get a bigger screen. Hopefully, they would go back to the changeable front from bit of glass on the lens. Right. But they won't do that because they make more money out of these things smashing. Yeah. Um, let's see. Now... I might the... smash mine if this condensation yeah. doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> It'll also give them the opportunity to put a better microphone on the front, a proper cardioid microphone. Right. Uh, which might be difficult because there's no airport and venting behind it, but there might be a way of doing it. Now, the front here as well, they could put a screen on the front as well. Yeah. Right. Now, the only thing with that is, that screen would still be tiny, and I've got the Osmo Action, and to be honest, the screen's far too small on the front. I can understand how people can see it as a good thing, because at the minimum, it does give you an idea of frame, and, and it is good for that. Yeah. But in all honesty, something that's that small can only be used just for quick framing, not not for gauging anything, not for judging not exposure, for exposure or anything. Right. No, See, no. See, that's what I'm after. No. Because the, on the odd time when I know I'm standing somewhere, I want to get the nice background in, yeah. but I just know it's going to be exposing for that background. Of course. And uh, I yeah. could maybe tap the screen yeah. for a, you know, a manual exposure. That would be handy. Yeah, I think these tiny small screens on the front will never be able to do the kind of things that you think practically you would need. Yeah. Hence why leads is actually quite nicely into, um, can I say pissed off? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, no. What are you, so what are you pissed off about? <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. I think what it, it, it may pay off um, Hero 8 users. Or he, Hero 8 users may think that they're going to feel peed off. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, if the next GoPro, whether it's the 9 or whatever, does indeed have a small front screen on it, and if a Hero 8 user does get eventually the display mod, then I think, well, hold on a minute, I've been forced into the display mod here mm. when these like Hero 9 users have got something already built in on the front. Yeah. I think in practice, I don't think that a Hero 9 user would actually avoid using the display mod either. I think, I think despite the fact that the Hero 9 may have a, a, a small front screen on it, I think a lot of Hero 9 users for vlogging will end up buying the display, the display mod anyway. Right. In which case, it'll kind of vindicate Hero 8 users a bit, you know, to not feel as yes. if they were hard done by. Yeah. Because in essence, although the display mod may, may appear to be a small screen, it's going to be bigger than whatever it is that they can put on a Hero 9 anyway. Yeah. So in the long run, I don't think Hero 8 users should feel that peed off really. No, so it'll be, if you've invested in the media mod... You did the, the, anyway. Then you... Then you yeah, you yeah, did, well, yeah. you did anyway. Yeah. And don't forget, if what I've said is right, <laughs> and physically the 9 is the same as the 8, it will be part of the same media mod ecosphere as yeah. well. What about the, uh, the sensor size? Are we expecting the same sensor size? Sensor size, right. I think it would be a bad idea to put a bigger sensor in the 9, right? Right. And the reason for that is is because then suddenly we're going to have focusing issues as far as close focus is concerned. The, uh. Yeah, no, the type of glass that they would have to do and, and the optical system to get such close focus with infinite focus as well for the rest of the frame, which is what heroes do best, Yes, would be absolutely insane. So if they went to a one-inch sensor, the trouble they would have doing that to maintain what we like about the heroes yeah. Will, will far that, outweigh. That was the big fail with the little Sony. Yeah. What do they call the Sony? The zero ranges. Yeah. yeah. The that was a focus. big fail with it once, yeah. because that was a neat little camera. It looked Great. good. But if, yeah. if you use one of those Sony, any of the Sony zeros, if you turn it around and, and film yeah. stuff, they're amazing. Yeah. Again, it's it, it's all these things that you have to take into consideration for doing vlogging. 
Um, so it's okay, it's all well and good when people start moaning about big senses and all yeah. that. But there's a whole heap of other problems that come in with that. Like I say, minimum focus distance is going to be the issue because there's no way you can put an optical system on to counteract all that right. stuff. So do you think that uh, GoPro are interested in uh, like low light performance? Because if they're not going to put a bigger sensor in, would they get that out of the chip, and a better chip? But their brand is, it works great in snow. Which you know, I think you'll find a lot of cameras probably with all that do, kind of light yeah, banging around. Right, probably yeah. you'll have no problem. Yeah, that's they're yeah. all their videos, yeah, promo videos, yeah, yeah, all in yeah. snow. So. Or on some mad beach in some yeah. kind of like Bahama setting with tons of light. Yeah. Yeah. No, the thing is, GoPro definitely know that more and more people are now using the eight and everything else for vlogging. I think if GoPro, as a, let's call it the GoPro Vlog One, right? Right. So GoPro make a new camera called the GoPro Vlog One. Now, if GoPro manage to break free of the, the size of a hero and go just a bit bigger, maybe 50% bigger, right? Yeah. It'd still be way smaller than a ZV-1 or a 100 or anything yeah. else. But with the technology though that GoPro have gotten with all their experience, what they could do in a slightly bigger body and if it be dedicated as a vlogging camera. So don't worry, it's not an action cam. It is yeah. specifically a vlogging cam. So GoPro wouldn't have to then be appeasing their yeah. traditional action users because all the heroes are brilliant at that. Yeah. But if they made something called the GoPro Vlog One or something like yeah. that, right? Then what they're gonna end up getting off the back of that is what I would say would be the perfect, you know, vlogging camera. Casey he's going to be screwed no more videos for him <laughs> <laughs> he might have just found the perfect mind you it can't be perfect that uh, sony what is it we're on sony a7 Three? No, it's, no, it's, not. it's too big. It's, it's too big. Too big. It's yeah, too simple big. as that. Amazing camera. Yeah. Far too big. Yeah, far yeah. too big. So it can't be the perfect vlogging no. camera, no. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the Hero 8 with the media mod around it, which we're on today, is very close. And uh, I've never held the GoPro Hero 8 out for this length of time. And it's only talking to David Harry. <laughs> makes you realize that even this camera can get heavy. <laughs> As you were just saying before about the, uh, what was it, the, the Vlog One, the GoPro yes. Vlog One. Now, I immediately wonder what the Vlog Two would be like before I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying the Q&A. Well, this hasn't been really a Q&A yet, but I have got a few questions for David about his channel. And you must check out his channel. He knows what he's talking about, audio, video, and uh, he's had a fair few gadgets. You've had a fair few gadgets lately on your channel, haven't you? Tablets. Tablets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pills. Yeah. <laughs> Begin off me cake with tablets, Robert. So you have had the uh, Sony vlogging camera on yeah, there yeah. and you didn't rate that much. And uh, you just, you've just done one on the uh, Galaxy, haven't you? Oh, the Galaxy, Galaxy uh, Tab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Been trying that for vlogging as well. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that thinking now, so he's walking around with this big, how big is the screen? Can you no, see, no, by yay big. Can you, can you see where you're going? You can gauge focus, you can see exposure, everything. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> would, you, would you recommend it for vlogging? Um, I mean, I do these things just to test, like, yeah. you know, test in practice whether the cameras are any good. So as you were saying about the Galaxy Tab there, yeah. what, what you do a lot on your channel is you take things to the extreme yeah. to, uh, <laughs> to make your point. So definitely check out David's channel. I will leave a link in description below. And like I say, it does take things to the extreme, whether it's microphones or cameras or tablets and uh, other gadgets that he do gets. Do you want to see what I've done to me, to me GoPro? Yeah, let's, <laughs> there's a good example here. Uh, we were mentioning it earlier on. Uh, David, when he got the GoPro Media Mod, which, with the, with which the, we're the, using the, right now. It's still in me fancy protector here. Yeah, who brings a sock out? <laughs> who, who brings a sock out with them? Uh, so, so there, there we we've got <laughs> David's Media Mod, and it looks a lot different. It's been hacked, completely hacked. Different microphone system on it, and I have heard it, 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 it works really well. So he's done a video on that actually where he tears it to bits <laughs> and, uh, and rightly so, rightly so. Um, only David would buy two and uh, hack, <laughs> yeah. hack one and maybe, you know, I'll just, just, I'll just turn it a bit slower so that GoPro can have a good look at that and realise where they went wrong. <laughs> see where they went wrong, you see. Uh, now you know where you went wrong. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> releasing it at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to release that display mod is, is what I'm talking about. Will I regret getting the display mod? I don't think so. Listening to you, I don't think I'll regret getting it because if I end up getting the Hero 9 down the line, yeah. it's going to fit that. I've just thought maybe what I am actually after is face tracking for exposure. Absolutely, properly. Obvious, properly yeah. Obviously not for focus because we've got... No, infinite. we don't want that. But face tracking for exposure yeah. would be a great feature. I wouldn't need the flip-up screen because that's all no. I want. Because you're more worried about the exposure, which Just is why you'd want the flip-up screen. In their mods, yeah, such, yeah. As, such as this situation here, yeah. like, uh, yeah. I, I would guess that we are in silhouette. Yeah. And and, and it's that that, yeah. that I'm wanting. If it, if you could uh, have the exposure. No, I think tracking. that's an amazing idea. No, de defo, some, some kind of like proper tracking system for the face. Yeah. For you know, for, uh, for, for exposure for the face, just like to say the ZV1 does. Yeah, yeah. And you could switch it on and off because yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously the yeah. action cam people on the skateboards and snowboards wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily want that. Want yeah. that. Well, like we said though, you, you've got that function where you can touch the screen to wait for exposure, you know, weighted exposure on the back. Yes. But the problem with that is it's not the same thing. It just you touch a box and it'll go. Yeah. I don't know what it. Personally, I don't know what it's doing. Well, <laughs> and I know what it does. I've, I've tried that. Well, it doesn't and, do and anything. It, 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 <laughs> no, put, it, it does. It puts a little box on the back screen. Yeah, I know. Nobody sees it. No, I know. It doesn't even record it. <laughs> but it's there. It's called the box on the back screen and it, function. It's, for a long time, it's made me feel a lot better <laughs> yeah. knowing that that little that box is on the back yeah, there. there. And then I've realised that, you know, yeah. I'm not going to use it's it It's taking up pixel space at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that box does. No. If, anyone, if, if anyone does know what that little box does, yeah. let me know. So I think we have exhausted every area of the GoPro Hero 8 and the much anticipated Hero 9. Yep. It's been great meeting up with David Harry again, a year on from owning the GoPro Hero 8. I can't wait to get hold of my display mod. Will you be buying one? I'll be buying one just to see what it's all about <laughs> and then I'll probably <laughs> smash it up with a hammer. <laughs> no, I've, 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 no, I've already worked it out. I'm gonna get one and glue a cold shoe to the top because don't forget, we're gonna lose a cold shoe when it go, brilliant. Glue a cold shoe on top of the display mod so we don't lose the cold shoe that it will take on top of the media mod. And what, oh, awesome. what would we want that cold shoe for, light? So anything. Mm. Microphones, the law. They've put a little box on it. <laughs> <laughs> An exposure assist box. No, just, just a little box. A little oh. cardboard one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is as much use as that oh one on God. the back screen. So it has been great meeting up with David Harry again. Now, David's got a shameless plug coming up and I wasn't going to allow him to do this, but... <laughs> well, it's not my actual whole channel that I want to plug here. It's just my GoPro videos. You can get at all my GoPro videos at www.gopro9.com. Okay, I'll put a link to that in the description below. As I said before, if you've enjoyed this vlog, give me a like. I upload a vlog every month, so if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.